So let's say we want to find an equal division of the octave that has intervals somewhere between those in 12 EDO and 19 EDO. Um, what we can do is simply add those together. So we can go 31 EDO and we will know that all the intervals in 31 EDO uh, will be somewhere in between those that are in 12 and those that are in 19. So let me clarify what I mean. Uh, the fifth of 12 EDO is seven steps. Uh, and um, it's 700 cents, 700 cents. Uh, and the fifth of 19 Edo is 11 steps. Uh, and it is 1200 divided by 19 times 11, uh, about 694, 694.7 uh, cents. So this is, this is the, um, the, the pitch. Uh, of it, um, and so we want we want to essentially say okay, so um, seven steps out of twelve edo and eleven steps out of nineteen edo. We've added the edos together, so we add the number of steps together. That will give us uh, eighteen steps uh, and twelve hundred divided by thirty one times eighteen is uh, six hundred and ninety six point eight cents. And so we've got a fifth now, we've got a, a new tuning with a fifth in between those two. Um, and that's because what we're doing uh, by adding them together is taking the median. So we've um, added together, let me pick another color. Uh, we've added together the 12 and 19, which are like our denominators um, of, of this sort of fraction that we're taking. It's, it's, not, um, it's not exactly a fraction so much as it is um, parts of the, the logarithm. Um, but, but essentially, because we're saying seven steps out of 12 plus 11 steps out of 19, we're adding the tops and adding the bottoms. We're not adding the fractions, we're just adding the tops and adding the bottoms, which is giving us an average. It's giving us an average um, interval. It's not a frequency interval. It's important to point out that this is a logarithmic interval. This is a, a um, uh, an interval in cents, but essentially we're just averaging these out. Um, not a normal average, it's a median average, but um, it's a really easy average to do. And it's it's given us a, a new equal temperament with um, a, a new uh, number of steps for a new fifth that is in between these two, um, which is really handy. So, uh, you know, we, we found an equal temperament, which is in between these two simply by adding them together. And we can get any interval that's in between um, you know, this interval out of 12 Edo and this interval out of 19 Edo just by adding the number of steps together. Um, and we can go further. So uh, let's take uh, 12 Edo, 12 Edo, um, and say we want to add something like 7 Edo to it. So 7 Edo. So we know that uh, 7 Edo has a flat fifth. Um, but it has seven steps in it. So we know that it's going to retain that sort of diatonic quality. Um, it, it's, you know, it's never going to lose that um, seven step scale uh, that we like, the diatonic scale, um, because it has seven steps and we're adding that seven steps to 12 Edo, uh, which also has a seven step scale and it has the diatonic scale. Um, and so that'll give us 19 Edo. Um, which is really interesting because 19 Edo, like we were looking at before, is also a good mean tone tuning. Um, it's a good tuning with a slightly flat fifth or, or a reasonably flat fifth, um, just as we'd expect from adding seven Edo to 12 Edo, something with a very flat fifth to something with a only very slightly flat fifth. Um, we could add another 12 Edo back to it again uh, to get 31 Edo. So what we've done is we've taken 12 Edo, uh, we've added, so we've added seven Edo, um, to flatten the fifth a bit, and then we've added 12 to bring the fifth up in pitch again a bit, and now I've got 31 Edo, which is still flat. It still has a flat fifth compared to 12. No number of 12s we add to this will ever bring it over 12 Edo's fifth. Um, but 31 Edo is a really good tuning because it has a slightly flat fifth, which um, you know we know uh, results in mean tone, which means that it does a, a fairly good approximation of um, the fifth harmonic and other parts of the harmonic series. Uh, we could add another 12 Edo and that would give us 43 Edo. Uh, we could add another 12 and that would give us 55 Edo. So these are 
um, essentially mean tone tunings that have progressively sharper fifths. And so by adding 7 eight to 12 eight, we created this chain of mean tone tunings um, that we can adjust by adding um, different diatonic uh, equal temperaments like 12 eight or 7 eight two. Um, you know, we could add another 7 eight to 19 eight to make the fifth even flatter. So 26 eight which is still mean tone, but um, it's very flat. And so it has a bit of a different character. Um, but you, you know, we, uh, from there we could go say, add another seven Edo to 43, uh, and get 50 Edo, um, and 50 Edo and 55 Edo, um, are both, uh, historically quite important tunings that are worth looking into. Um, the, you know, they're historically quite interesting, um, mean tone tunings. Same thing with 31 Edo because, uh, it's, um, essentially almost exactly quarter comma mean tone, which is. Um, a historically very important tuning that was used a lot in um, European classical music. Um, you know, and, and so we could also add five Edo uh, to make the fifth sharper of 12 Edo instead. So five Edo has a sharp fifth uh, and that'll give us 17 Edo. Um, and, and we could make the fifth sharper again by adding another five Edo to get 22 Edo. We can make it sharper again by adding another five Edo to get 27 Edo. And these are um, very, like very popular, famous um, super pi. Super pi. That's worth adding here. This is um, our spectrum of mean tone tunings. So mean tone. Oh, you get the idea. Um, but yeah, these are very popular super Pythagorean tunings, which have sharp fifths, but still, um, very good approximations of the harmonic series. Um, just, you know, appearing in a different way. If you uh, construct the scales diatonically, that is by stacks of fifths, um, compared to mean tone, I uh, could add another 12 Edo to 17 Edo to get 29 Edo, uh, which also has a very good fifth. You know, we're, we're getting to that point, um, where. Uh, it's it's begun to cancel out the the sharpness and the flatness um, of the fifths from earlier on here, um, and we could add another twelve edo to get forty one edo, and another twelve to get uh, fifty three edo, um, and so you know these two are very famous because these are um, uh, very famous Pythagorean pi. Um, tunings, which are very close to pure fifths and generate um, the rest of the harmonic series differently again from the way that all these different ones work. Um, but 41 and 53 are also very famous um, for that exact reason. And, and I love things like 17, you know, because it's a bit strange, you know, it's small, but has a good fifth, but um, does very strange things with the rest of the harmonic series. And 19, you know, is interesting because it does a similar thing, but with a flat fifth. Um, and so you can generate a whole range of interesting diatonic edos essentially just by thinking in terms of, well, you know, we've got um, this equal temperament that has a very good fifth and a diatonic scale. Uh, we add something that has pentatonic characteristics or something that has diatonic characteristics because of the number of notes that they have. Uh, and the fact that this has a sharp fifth and this has a flat fifth and, and sort of push the intervals around. And you can think of it in terms of other intervals as well. So, you, you know, um, you, you can think in terms of um, by adding seven Edo, seven Edo has um, a neutral third. So going along here, you'd expect there to be an interval near this neutral third um, added, just like 31 Edo has an excellent neutral third. Um, you know, and adding five Edo has a very good harmonic seventh. So something like this, you'd expect to have a bit of a good harmonic seventh. You add more five Edo character down here. So th these two have very good harmonic sevenths because um, well, not because, but um, it can be thought of as being derived from adding this five Edo character to them. Um, these have very good fifths because they can be thought of as having the excellent fifth of 12 Edo plus uh, a very slight sharpness from five Edo, but averaged out over a whole bunch of 12 Edos, um, you know, giving you that very slight sharpness you need to cancel out the very slight flatness of 12 Edo. Um, uh, 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 ge generating these um, very important Pythagorean, um, very you know well tuned perfect fifth or um, third harmonic tunings, um, and so you can see how just using this technique of adding um, and subtracting, if you want to move back down and um, cancel out what you've done uh, and move in the opposite direction, um, but essentially just adding um, different equal temperaments together, giving you a whole spectrum of related equal temperaments which you can relate to each other by saying, okay, so you know. 
Um, 31 Edo has uh, a lot of similar character to 12 Edo with a little bit of the flat fifth character of 7 Edo. Um, it relates to, to 19 Edo. Um, it's, you, you know, uh, or, you know, with a, a sharper fifth, just like 12. Um, if you subtract 5 Edo, you get to 26 Edo. So you could say by removing some of the 5 Edo characteristics, like the sharpness of the fifth um, from 31 Edo, uh, where, where, where we push it um, a, a flatter, we push the fifth flatter towards 26 Edo. Um, and I'm talking in terms of fifths because they're very easy to talk about and understand, but you can really think in, in um, any interval here. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is a, a useful tool for you to um, understand how to relate equal temperaments together, how, um, how, how to uh, find sort of um, which ones will have similar intervals um, or access to similar scales. Um, just by adding them um, together or subtracting them. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, and um, I'll see you next time.